Regarding the heated debate about President Trump's Tuesday remarks, Saul's top office took a cautious stance, urging the media not to jump to any conclusions. As a more detailed response on the outcome of the summit will be provided after President Moon Jae-in chairs the National Security Council meeting tomorrow, the Chinese stressed the government will do its best to continue the momentum of dialogue. Hwang Wo-jun has the latest from the presidential office. A day after U.S. President Donald Trump said he would halt the South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises, calling them, quote, expensive and provocative war games, South Korea's top office was wary of drawing any hasty conclusions. According to Kim Il-gyum, the Blue House spokesperson, the presidential office's official stance for now is to try and figure out President Trump's exact intentions, but to assist in any way possible to advance dialogue for peace and denuclearization in various ways, hinting that a suspension of the joint drills with the U.S. U.S. might not be out of the question. A Blue House official confirmed that President Moon will convene a full meeting of the National Security Council on Thursday to consider what exactly President Trump was referring to when he said, quote, war games, whether it's the Allies' usual drills or something else. They'll also evaluate the outcome of the Singapore summit as well as discuss follow-up measures to implement the agreement reached by Trump and Kim Jong-un. The director of national security, Chong Wu-yong, usually presides over meetings of the standing committee of the National Security Council, but the South Korean president will chair an all-member meeting when deemed necessary. Thursday will be a hectic day for the Blue House because aside from the NSC meeting, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is set to visit President Moon to personally brief him on the results of the North Korea-U.S. summit. Pompeo's visit will fulfill the promise of President Trump made during the 20-minute phone call with President Moon on the eve of the Singapore summit. Also visiting the South Korean president is Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Kono on Thursday afternoon. Pompeo and Kono are scheduled to hold a three-way meeting with South Korea's Foreign Minister Kang Yong-hwa on the same day. Hong Jun, Arirang News.